Johnny Depp is spending quality time with some furry friends. During a recent trip to a wildlife rescue center in England, the 54-year-old cuddled up to an orphaned badger. The Folly Wildlife Rescue shared a photo of Johnny on Facebook on Thursday and revealed that he stopped by their nonprofit to visit the animals, writing, as you probably know, Johnny has been appearing with our patron Jeff Beck on his UK tour. And in a recent break, Jeff's wife Sandra brought him up to visit us and see for himself the work we do with wildlife. Johnny was given the rare privilege of holding the young cub who is currently being cared for by the organization and was reportedly impressed with their work. A spokesperson for the rescue wrote, What an incredible afternoon it was for our staff and volunteers as he toured the hospital's care and vet units. Johnny was incredibly complimentary and, in his own words, blown away by what he saw. The news of his recent visit came just one day before it was announced that he and musician Jeff Beck would be releasing a new album together in July. The announcement follows the Pirates of the Caribbean star's legal battle with Amber Heard. Earlier this week, Johnny was awarded $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages. The punitive damages were later reduced by the judge to $350,000, the state's statutory cap. On Wednesday, Amber was found liable for defamation. After a heated trial, a Virginia jury sided with the Sweeney Todd star's claims that his ex-wife had defamed him in her 2018 op-ed in the Washington Post. The jury also awarded Amber $2 million in damages. After finding that one of Depp's former attorney Adam Waldman's statements to the Daily Mail was defamatory to the Aquaman actress. Following the verdict, Depp's team issued a lengthy statement to NBC News that read in part, I am and have been overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and the colossal support and kindness from around the world. I hope that my quest to have the truth be told will have helped others, men or women, who have found themselves in my situation, and that those supporting them never give up. I also hope that the position will now return to innocent until proven guilty, both within the courts and in the media." Amber and her team released a response too, saying in part, the disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I am heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. 